Um, one thing that Fury and I wanted to put out there is uh, we will have a Q&A, but because of our time constraints, I would probably be good if you have a question to probably um, uh, relating to any of the songs that we're playing, or if you have a specific question, you may want to place that in the chat whenever you feel like it, uh, just to save us the trouble of having to, you know, vondle through it later and to make sure everybody... Oh, yeah. What? I just said, wow, Mia. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm, I'm a yeah. yip from New York. If that's how I talk, deal with it. Very good. Um, I support and appreciate your full self. Um, also, feel free to use the Zoom chat like throughout. I feel like it's one of the nice things about live stream world slash uh, I don't know, various events. Is that you Fury can... is very handsome. There you go. Boom. Ha! Ah! <laughs> I was going to say you could also use it to send us secret messages that you don't want recorded, but I don't you. know. I don't know that me is <laughs> setting that up is the uh, is exactly what I had in mind, but you know. Now you see. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I have a direct message. It's, I'll keep it a secret, I suppose. But you could probably guess. Anyway. <sighs> All right, well, it is two o'clock. Should we start somehow? Or should we wait a couple of minutes? How should we do this? Any word from our wonderful techs and hosts? Or are we kind of moderating this ourselves? I think aww. it's, aww. Um, I think it's up to us at this point. Uh, so, All right, well, that's great folks and people will keep coming in, but Mia, yeah. why don't you introduce yourself? All right, let me wait for the next guest to come in. Okay. All right. Hello, I'm Mia Byrne, singer, songwriter, actor, not a dancer, though I'd really like to be one one day. <laughs> um, I'm from New York, and I currently live in San Francisco. Um, I'm trans. Um, so, uh, Fury and I at the last convening performed as Bird of the Year with our friend Simcha, and uh, our, everybody, we wish that we could all be performing for you in one room, but I'm really glad that we're able to do this, at least in this context, and uh, we're going to talk about, we're going to play some songs that we love and talk about them just a little bit, storyteller style, and if you have any questions, uh, comments, uh, fashion tips, uh, feel free to throw them our way, um, you know, stuff like that. It's good. Um, so without any further ado, I, uh, Fury, please introduce yourself. Sure. Hey, my name is Fury. My pronouns are they, them. And super honored to be part of the gathering today. Oh, and now I can see both of us at the same time. That's lovely. Um, helpful for telling if I start to like dance out of the screen. Dance is a broad term here, but you know, we'll see. Um, in any case. Thing. Broad term. Hey, <laughs> a general term. How's that? Um, I have been known to say that I only dance when I'm holding a guitar, and that's fairly accurate. In any case, um, yeah, super grateful that this is happening and to be part of it. And um, I really do want to, and I will again, uh, therefore encourage you to use the chat. I would curious, like, what are folks? looking for in our time together. If there's anyone who's like, oh, I was really hoping for chat about songwriting because we mentioned that in the description, like, or, you know, whatever it might be. Um, and no pressure. Uh, but if there's anything that you are looking for in this time, please feel free to put that forth in the chat. Fury will answer your burning questions live on CBSD. Oh my god, it sounds like a radio station when you put it that way. Excellent. Um, yeah, oh, and I guess other bio -y things. I live in Oakland, California these days. I uh, spent a long time in Brooklyn. My heart is arguably still there. And um, I used to play in a band called The Shondas, currently in a band called The Homobiles with Mia here. And uh, writing solo material, especially during this last year. So we'll be playing, uh, playing some material for the first time. And... Uh, very yeah, we'll see. Without further ado, 
Yeah, yeah you want to kick us off? To just, to, just to make life a little easier for people, um, I'm going to throw lyrics to my first song in the chat so that you can read it. I realize that people who might come in later might not be able to see that. But also, if you, you know, this this particular one has chord, chord charts on it, so, you know, if you want to play it yourself, you can. Um, so I can't do that for every song because I don't think I've lyrics to every song, but we'll see what happens. So this song I actually wrote not too long after the uh, first convening uh, with my friend Neil Eckstein up in Boston and uh, actually won uh, Best Folk Song of the Year at the inaugural Trans Trenders Music Awards. Um, but it's about queer community and uh, couched in a metaphor of uh, a creaky old house. So it's called Fault Line. So here we go. Ours is an old place made of plaster, wood, and slate. The floorboards creak and the plumbing leaks. Nothing much about it straight. It's made it through the big ones and the fires that burned all around. Somehow it's still standing on less than solid ground. We live on a fault line in all hell's that sway. When the earth starts shaking, it could all fall down and break. We live on the fault line, a dangerous place to be. So far this house has made it, and maybe so will we. There's cracks in the foundation, and ripples in the glass. Worn spots on the staircase, you can see to the past height marks by the basement door from families long gone we don't know what's become of them but this old place lives on we live on a fault line an old house that sways when the earth starts shaking it could all fall down and break we live on a fault Line, a dangerous place to be So far this house has made it And maybe so will we And it's hard to keep a balance And you're straddling that line Of who to blame when things go wrong Who to praise when things go right But when the ground is trembling And everything's a fight we should hold on to each other, hold on with all our might. Feel free to sing along. Sure, it needs a few repairs like most old good things do. New curtains and a coat of paint. At least the bones are strong and true So many things get lost with time It's a wonder we survive But we live on a fault line It makes us feel alive We live on a fault line In an old house that sways When the earth starts shaking It'll all fall down and break on a fall line, a dangerous place to be. So far, this house has made it, and maybe so will we. And maybe so will we, yeah. We live on a fault line. Yay! Oh, thank you. Which, and we're just going to go back and forth and do it uh, that style. Yo, what, what are you going to play for us, Fury? What you got? Well, I, and we'll see whether this is advisable or not. Um, can I play a haven't, can I play a song I haven't played before? Um, and which is 
a little ditty that I wrote after the um, Capitol riot um, and after a during this pandemic I've been fortunate to have a pal with whom one with whom I have gone on socially distanced hikes occasionally and uh, she reached out to me after the Capitol riot to give a heads up that she had encountered um, a group of folks in camo and guns at our local um, and with guns at our local a, a local uh, regional park essentially um, which is not something that I usually anticipate and she basically reached out to be like hey maybe you want to be extra careful around uh, dusk slash in general um, and that might be a real bummer of a story to share with you all so sorry about that but it uh, yeah, it just, it kind of, there's a lot to get to a person these days. So I wrote this song to help myself get through it and hopefully help others get through it too. I feel like there's a little bit of a diasporic element too. So, uh, so there we go. Um, I will be posting lyrics to my website later. I did not prepare them to paste into the chat. If I can get that together while Mia's playing her next song, I will. But in the meantime, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> can you hear me? The guitar, that is. Do this because I can't hear. It's fine. <laughs> your back will dance in the moonlight. I don't know where we'll go if we'll find it or run or hide. But I know whatever comes will take it one day at a time. I don't know where we'll go and I can't promise we'll be fine. But I feel a little braver when I've got you by my side. Good hearing. Thanks. Thank you for the volume feedback in the chat. If you'd like to hear a 
uh, demo recording of that with all the guitar parts and everything uh, audible <laughs> um, you can go to my website and I'll email you one I bought a 12 string capo and the darn thing doesn't work very well and uh, you know I'm very tempted to just switch over to my electric guitar because you're rocking so hard can't help it that sounds good does it? Sounds good to me. You got good taste, kid. Psh. <laughs> okay, so um, this is actually one of the oldest songs in my repertoire, um, and um, I'm going to be recording this for my next record, um, uh, which is going to be cut in Nashville, actually, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, and it's going to be pressed to vinyl, which is also really exciting i mean somehow somehow i'm going to make all that happen um and uh it's very impressive sorry uh, thank you and i appreciate your puns always 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 um but so one of the things uh that we want to address was how we write songs um and so this particular song i was actually on a recording session uh up in connecticut um palm Frit, connecticut and at Signature Sounds, which is a really cool studio. And I walk every day and I went out walking and anytime I go anywhere, I have something that I can write on. Honestly, right now I do a lot of writing on my cell phone, my beautiful tiny cell phone, but I also do a lot of writing in little notebooks like this. So that day I had a little notebook like this and I was just walking along and I found this stubble field, cornfield. It was around this time of year, so nothing had been planted yet. And I just kind of sat on a stump and this song kind of poured out of me. And I intended it to be sort of this non-confrontational love song. And this is before I transitioned. And then I remember um, when I started transitioning, uh, I realized that this song that I'd sort of written for, ostensibly for somebody that I wanted to just, you know, was like, hey, you know, I'll be here when you're ready, you know, and whatever you need, uh, I, I'm here for you. I realized I'd written it for myself addressing myself um which was pretty cool and then i was sort of in the middle of of sort of my social transition some of my friends knew and some didn't and i played this song at a at a show and my friend bev uh grant who's a wonderful social justice singer songwriter and photographer uh we're in the car afterwards and she's just like my god that song she talks like that my god that song is so good it's like men just don't write that song and i'm like I have something to tell you. <laughs> so, um, here we go.
kind of a woman You make me want to love easy If I could stop time Live forever this day I find a garden We can go walking While the twilight is rising I hold you till those colors fade away Fade away Fury was singing along on mute. It's true. <laughs> Thank to you. To the dismay of my cat. Itai. Let me say that right. I think it's Itai, right? I for one feel fine about people on meeting to express what they feel about the songs and the performances if they want to. No pressure, but the chat still feels. It's fine. What you got, Fury? I said it again, just the same exact way. Um, it's an existential question, Mia. Um, <laughs> this next song is... I feel like a lot of my songs, maybe period, <laughs> but especially lately, are like well, grief songs and a lot of like love letters to community. Um, this song is... about caring deeply about people who have gone through some stuff and um, which may not surprise you to hear uh, seems to be the case pretty often in my, my experience of uh, my communities anyway I would I would I would hazard to say our communities um, and about trying to be there for each other and um, and also kind of yeah I feel like there's this um, there can be this kind of velveteen rabbit like element sometimes in um, trans and queer friendships other kinds of relationships community um, in which like we it just can be so important to to feel seen and to be seen and supported. So um, make of this what you will. It's called Shelter. And I've just changed the key, which is not something I would recommend doing before a performance, but we'll see how this one goes too. <laughs> to bring you down I framed you as a threat to all that's pure Did nothing wrong Just look the way you do And one by one the whole town turned on you And then I let you go <laughs> Oof, goodness Alright, I'm gonna restart that one Both because of that and because Simpa just joined that Simpa wants to put you on the Oh, what? <laughs> Maybe you're just in time. <laughs> <That's the next part. laughs> you were a kid, and they tried to bring you down. They framed you as a threat, oh, that's good. You did nothing wrong, you just looked the way you do. And one by one the hot sound turned on you And I won't let you go It's a hard time to cross your home And often it just feels like you're alone I don't need to guess what the world has done to you But if you let me I can keep you warm So try it back 
past to believe in something new Not to be your shelter from the storm Let's upgrade with scorn You're stiff and your armor keeps you warm Knock on my door You don't have to say what for Just come inside where no one's keeping score Sorry, everyone is on the way. Just lean on me. I'll keep the wolves at bay. I need to guess what the world has done with you. But if you let me, I can keep you warm. It's the best to believe in something new. Try to be your shelter from the storm. song so much um one of the things here and i've been doing um a lot uh is uh i i write a song every week which i which i post to my patreon shameless self-promotion um if you're interested it's patreon slash mia burn music um but um i post a new song every monday one of the things that fury and i have uh, occasionally done together is a thing called the fearless songwriting challenge which is pretty cool um, basically about 20 songwriters from all over the country, but mostly from, uh, most of them are from the Northeast folk community and the Colorado folk community get together online and write songs to prompts one song a day for a week. And, uh, so this next song, which is going to be on my upcoming record, uh, is from that, um, and I'm really happy about this one. Um, I, I don't want to talk it up too much because it's it's very, very new. Well, it's not that new. I wrote it about a year ago. Um, but um, so the story behind this song, um, one of the things about songwriting, and again, one of the things that Fury and I decided to talk about is how we write songs. Um, I had been, I, the great, Nashville songwriter Harlan Howard had a, had a saying, which was, read the paper every day because you never know what you'll find. And I've kind of extrapolated from that, too. Like, I rarely walk with, that, with headphones on, for instance. I'm always listening to things that are going on in the street. And like I said, I have a notebook. I take down notes. But um, something that had happened the day that I wrote the song was I'd read about how in... And I'm sure a lot of our ancestors, uh, being Jews, were some of these folks. Was were that in 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 sort of the industrial, the the more industrial uh, sewing era. A lot of times, uh, and specifically women or people assigned to birth, who at the time were presenting in that way, um, and um, were who didn't quite fit into society. Uh, maybe they had um, a, a disability, maybe they didn't, and maybe they didn't talk, maybe they couldn't hear. Um, but a lot of them wound up working at making clothing because it was work that you could do on your own and you could concentrate on it. And uh, in certain 
areas. I mean, I come from a long line of socialists, so there were a lot of people who were in those particular unions in New York when, you know, long before I was born, 100, 100 120 years ago. So when I wrote this song, I had this image of just this um, young person who just who couldn't talk and who who just loved to sew and you know kind of a little and you know also how's how's moving castle why not you know um but so um yeah that was long and and long-winded um but yeah songs come from a lot of different places and and you can pull them from just about anywhere I've been thinking about lifelines I've been thinking about friends of mine I've been thinking about sunshine Beating down Reminiscing on the old days Just into the new wave Thinking about the heartaches Coming around Been thinking about the lion I've been thinking about dying I've been thinking about redemption in all its shapes. Been thinking about my lovers, everything I have discovered. When I look to the sky, when I pray. But if you don't want to prove it, you better keep it moving. There's so much to take on a leap of faith. I've been thinking about the sunshine Coming high on the horizon Even in bad times It don't fade Some will sit in their seclusion Some will think it's an illusion Take what you need To survive some more If your heart is in the right place It don't matter in the first place come from to where you are but if you don't want to go there you're stuck inside the still air it's all right to be scared as long as you ain't afraid i've been thinking about the sunshine coming high on the horizon even in bad There was a tailor She sewed cause words failed her In between the stitches She found her star Coming through a window What a funny thing to find though When you look up and You can see so far But if you don't want to go there You feel like you'll be unrepaired like a rusted gutter in a pouring rain Try to think about the sunshine Even in a bad time Even when you fall behind It don't fade Try to think about the sunshine Even in your bad times Even when you fall behind It don't fade like that song. <laughs> that reminds me of my Aunt Heike, who was, um, she was, uh, she started out, she came over, and then she was a tailor, um, and she um, had what I now recognize to be just like, you know, the same kind of bipolar I have, and uh, 
Uh, she had a really hard time in her life, and uh, but she she was a crafter, and that's something that she always did, and it was really beautiful. Like uh, one of my prized possessions, which is in a box somewhere from my childhood, is um is a mug and David that she made for me, um, uh, which is just out of paper, and she made little paper flowers and stuff like that, and I had it on my wall for years and years and years. Um, but yeah, she was, uh, you know, I think about her every time I write this song, uh, every time I play this song. Fury, you coming back on screen, buddy? Oh, I suppose. I didn't out like a little bit. I feel so screen shy today. Oh, I suppose I could have been, could have been having claimed not to dance. Could have been making some sort of emotions during your playing, which was lovely. Everyone else is frozen their video. Maybe I... Maybe I encouraged it by mistake. That's okay. All right. Um, not everybody wants to be on. That's time. okay. No, that is generally okay. And I did not mean that as any pressure or criticism. Simply, you're looking very handsome. Though. I'll try to keep my very my handsome. gentle appreciation uh, to, the, <laughs> to the chat slash not the official record. <laughs> Let the official record show. Um, anyway, um, we know each other. I'm not just not just being extremely forward with someone who happens to be uh, joining us, but the friendly forwardness. Anyway, um, having gone on at excessive length there, um, speaking of friends, um, this next song, um, <laughs> Mia and Fury star and <laughs> Mia and Fury say too much. Um, I'll speak for myself. Um, anyway. I'll speak for yourself. Thanks. Um, <laughs> Uh, this next song, and the last song that so we figured we'd play some songs and then we'd leave time for conversation with everybody. Um, there are more songs that could be played if it comes to it, but uh, this, this last song, as far as I'm aware, um, is one that actually might not have, it might, it might not exist, or it might not exist in quite this, um, way um just might not exist if it weren't for this conference this convening um and rafi who's who's uh with us um when the you know as mia mentioned um mia and Simpa and i um let's see not just tackling a stranger um as a uh, note self write the song not just tackling a stranger anyway um we played the um convening a couple years ago and part of the we've been invited to apply which i appreciate it and um and the form for information about you know what you might do included something that i will i will i will fail to quote it accurately but there was essentially a like explicit encouragement of like trans and Jewish content. Like if you have, like bring your transist and Jewishist content, most Jewish. Um, and, um, and I sort of, like my initial, my very initial like knee jerk reaction was to kind of laugh. Um, and then I was like, actually, uh, actually there's something that's been on my mind. It's very, feels very trans and Jewish to me. So maybe now's the time to Write a song. Um, I, for the record, go to a synagogue that's very supportive and lovely, and I had started to feel self-conscious, not because of anything anybody did, but I had started to feel self-conscious um, because there had been a lot of deaths uh, in my community and among folks near to me, and um, and I realized one day that between between the yard sites and the new ones, um, I was like, wow, I'm just actually going to be standing up at every single Mourner's Cottage for the rest of time, it seems like. Um, and I, um, which, you know, uh, happy to do it isn't the right way to describe that, but like, um, you know, honored to do it and also... Um, it was a. It was kind of a curious moment, and also I was like, I wonder what every what the mostly straight and mostly cis people here think, <laughs> and whether they think that I like, am doing this for attention or something, which, 
I was really not. Um, anyway, again, everybody's lovely at that synagogue. Um, it's not a, it's not about that, about that. Um, but in case anyone can relate, the song is also about, um, yeah, trying to hang in there and show up for each other. And I will say, I like to put this in chat later too, um, uh, Trans Lifeline is a great resource to know about. Uh, I don't have their phone number memorized, but translifeline.org. Um, put it in your phone, give it to your friends. Um, if you ever need to talk to someone um, and you feel like there isn't someone available, there is at least Trans Lifeline where people will not make a bunch of assumptions when you call uh, and look it out for you. So. Also, we care about you. And that's not me speaking on behalf of Trans Lifeline, which, with which I am not affiliated. We, me, myself, and community in my mind care about you. So, Mr. Crown, in general. Pardon, can you hear the guitar well enough? I changed things, great. Never not standing at Warner's Cottage, everybody stares at me. Not standing at Warner's Cottage, my whole community. So you, my friend, oh you, my friend, I hope you know you're dear. I'd rather celebrate you while you're here. friend, please know I held you dear. I've been saying your name every year. Oh, I know you tried. Oh, I know you tried. Hey, old friend, it's good to see you. It's always out of wig. You show up strong, still I wonder how many we can take. So you, my friend, oh you, my friend, let's keep our purpose clear. Try to be for a blessing while we're here. Uh, if you want to ask us any questions, we can do that. Or Fury and I can each play two very. We can each play a quick song to uh, to to let us out. So if you want to chime in and let us know what you want, that's also it's not necessarily completed in any of the world. We can get like you know eight minutes ish. So yeah. also, I recognize that we have not to bust anyone else out, but we have some other songwriters in the room, um, and I'm happy to have it be more of a uh yeah a general uh, combo we're not like positing ourselves as the sole experts on anything except our own songwriting processes but there's the um rocky mountain song school which is um hang on one second for anyone uh who can't see the chat um somebody whose name i don't know whether they want to it said but uh somebody asked i would love to hear about songwriting did you say something about a group connected to colorado yes yeah. so um so there's the rocky mountain song school um in Colorado, which I actually haven't attended, but a lot of my friends have, um, cis and trans. But the group that's connected, and it is, um, it is uh, public, is called Fe the Fearless Songwriter. If you Google the Fearless Songwriter, 
Um, that is the group that Fury and I both occasionally participate in, and it's really a wonderful resource. Tommy Rorden is a friend of mine from Boston, and he is the person who uh, coordinates that and is a wonderful songwriter. And every Saturday he posts uh, songwriting prompts, and then once every couple of months we all we all write a song a, a week a day for a week. Boom, boom, boom. So yeah, if you'd like to hear some extremely early drafts. Um, P.S. Thank you to I am eternally grateful to Mia for dragging me by the arm into a fearless songwriting challenge. Um, I had not been a I had not been known to write a song in a day. I'd been known to have a pile of partly finished songs that some of which got finished over the course of like a while. So um, transformed my life, truly. Um, and uh, what do you think? You. I'm transformative. Hey. That, that, I really love that that harmonic just kind of came in. That was really great. It's almost a drum roll. Also, you don't have to be, I don't consider myself like a, a folky etc but uh, it's, 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 part it's of just it's just a nice group anyway any other questions what else what else anybody uh, well, not also not. i guess go ahead mia is there anything that you would say about like how you generally approach writing a song i know uh, we talked a little bit about inspiration for songs but yeah um and yes that is such a cute baby oh my gosh um, I generally approach songwriting uh, song forward, like not necessarily what I want to say, although sometimes that is what's coming out of it. It's, it's I'm sort of following the song. And I also typically approach songs, um, melody and lyrics before anything else. Occasionally I'll come up with a cool riff or a lick that I'll want to put a song to, but most of the time it's me walking around writing things down and then uh and i write songs my, sundays and mondays are my songwriting days that's the day those are the days i focus on writing songs um and uh yeah i think having a specific set time that you write songs is a really helpful thing i have i have a standing day to write songs with my collaborator paisley fields in new york um and uh that's always very helpful uh, just to have a designated time because what winds up happening and having an accountability group if you're into workshopping stuff because what winds up happening is your brain does a lot of back processing and then the songs kind of float out of you it's not always that easy but um, yeah that's usually the way that I approach it Aww, thanks. I love that you have a time set aside for blocking and rocking blocking and rocking blocking and rocking Um, I guess I can answer my own question. Not that anybody asks, but uh, I usually start with the chorus, which is part of what I've appreciated about the Fearless Songwriting Challenge. It's like, here's a phrase, and pretty much immediately I like, often it'll uh, be set to a melody in my head. And so then I go from there till I have something like a chorus and uh, go back to construct the verses that'll build appropriately around it. This concludes perhaps unsolicited songwriting nerdery. Uh, One thing else I do a lot um, in uh, songwriting, um, oh yeah, we're ending in three minutes. So something else I do a lot, um, especially if I'm trying to get out of a rut, is a thing I picked up from uh, beat poetry when I was studying poetry in college which is called a between the lines exercise. Um, so the, and this is a really good way to get into songwriting if you've never written a song before or if you're interested in writing a song or if you just want to expand your palette. So um, you take a song, a song's lyrics that exist that you know, like you know, Stevie Wonder song or you know, Rolling Stone song or something like that. and um, you write so for every line of that song you write your own version in your own melody but with the same syllabic content and the same in the same sort of cadence so for same instance, meter yeah so for instance I have a song that never was intended to become a stage song 
Um, I just wrote it as a songwriting exercise when I was waiting to go to work uh, back in the days when I drank and worked in bars. Um, but uh, it's it's based on the Rolling Stones' "The Last Time," so it's just like you know the first line of that song is you know I told you once I told you twice and I go I'll explain to you and I'll explain it again and like the whole song kind of took off from there and uh, then people were like I like that song you should play that song just you know change it a little bit so that it's your own really and that's what I did and there's nothing wrong with doing stuff like that it doesn't make you you know. As long as you're not like directly plagiarizing somebody, I really encourage people to use other songs that you like to inspire you. It doesn't, you know, because it helps form the way that you write. And that's a really important thing. You know, it's just like learning, if you're learning, when you learn cover songs, you're learning how those people construct songs. Can confirm. Turn the Weepy song into a Black Lives Matter song <laughs> as a part of an earlier songwriting exercise. It was very helpful. I know we're just about to wrap up on time. Um, it's lovely to see you all. Thank you so much for, for spending this time with us. Um, we'd love to stay in touch. Uh, you can find me on the things at Fury, uh, F U R E I G H, but I recognize that that is difficult to spell. So you can also go to sounds like Fury, F U R Y dot com, and find the ways to find the other things. Um, no insult to anyone's spelling, just people who've known me forever, you know, it, anyway, it's easy to misspell. Mia, where can people find you? You can just tap my name into Google and I'll come up and there'll be a lot of, there'll be both wonderful, lovely things and there'll be a ton of turf hate. So, you know, don't click on those links, but totally, yeah, no, the turf's hate me. Or you can go to miaburn.com and uh, spare yourself the turf hate if you're not in the mood for that at the moment. <laughs> but my work on patreon.com slash Mia Burn Music, YouTube slash Mia Burn Music. Um, that's uh, where a lot of my stuff is. And I'm on the Spotify. And I will be soon putting stuff out. So website in the meantime. Anyway, Hopefully thanks to you all again. Yeah. Fun. All right. Boom. And thank you to the techs and everyone who has set this up. Enjoy the rest of the conference. We'll see you out there. really hard to resist harmonizing, but I know it'll be a mess over Zoom. <laughs> Go for it. It's not really harmonizing. Where is it the start? Just guitar dance while you play. <laughs> 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 <laughs>